has shown that when the people who've read the comics were asked to reiterate or recite or tell the information, um, they remember more than the people who just read words. Because it's different. You can look at a painting and not have any words uh, surrounding it, and it has some meaning, but you may not know what it means. You can read a chapter in a book and it's just words. You're having to create the words in your head. I mean, I'm sorry, the images in your head about things. But if you read a comic, the images are already there. And I've had students tell me, like, when we talk about certain subjects, they remember the scene in the comic that sort of illustrates and talks about that particular topic. So they're efficient. They enhance learning. They not only learn the material faster, but they learn it better. Comics can make an impact, obviously. Mouse won the Pulitzer Prize in 1992. The Pulitzer Prize for a comic. Watchmen has been put on Time Magazine's top 100 best novels. Not just graphic novels, best novels. We also have congressmen writing comics. John Lewis, he's written comics that have been illustrated about his time with Martin Luther King and in the Civil Rights Movement. He's won multiple awards. So this isn't just a milk and cookies category here. This is some serious business. When we talk about the importance of information, the way that it can be conveyed, and how high level it can be. And then, as a TA, I had to teach undergrads criminology, and they just were not interested, like at all. And I would think to myself, like, God, like I love theory so much, and I love these stories, like. What, what can I do to make it more interesting? So in 2009, I had this idea. And I called up Mike and I said, hey, what do you think about criminology comic books? And he said, I think this is what we're supposed to do. As instructors, we feel like we have to teach everything. That students have to know everything. And what I'm learning and going through these pedag pedagogical conferences is that you need to teach what you want them to know because they can't possibly know everything you know so um, I think that it's going to take some time from a shift of here's a textbook that has every single theory ever created in it to here's a comic that has the greatest hits right um, I would like to see that, but not, al not only do you have instructor resistance, but you might also have student resistance, because I've even had in my classes students say, I'm used to textbooks. This is not like a textbook. This is very strange. I don't know if I'm comfortable with it. And I think we're sort of indoctrinated. It's like, this is how we learn. But just because this is how we learn doesn't mean it's the best way to learn.